Hi right, guys, I'm back with more Assassin's Creed 1 Let's Play video and today I'm going to be playing Memory Block 2. And just before I start that... Assessment. What happened? Alright. Just before I I start playing, I, I want to say that I already played this twice and I rec that means I recorded twice. But I got interrupted by somebody else in my house so now I'm going to record it for the third time. If it works, it's good. I'm going to replay it. So you might lose a lot of like cinematics and of course when we go in we're going to enter a brand new cinematic that between what is it? Altai air and what? I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead of the womb, that you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace, in all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair, your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions, your rank as well. You are a novice, a child once more, as you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No, not yet at least. For now you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Alright, so nice talk right there. But that was the third time I... Well, not third time, the fifth time I listened to it. So it's kind of getting boring for me and um, you got demoted you got a lot of ability loss and of course some weapons loss you can see right there there are taxes well uh, for me is actually really awful because I played the late game already and I can't use those moves it's like a torture but oh well uh, like I said I did say that we have to try out all the weapons before before Altair got demoted so yeah that was a great suggestion if you didn't take it oh well it's still fun to play the game safety and peace Altair you're in my way yes Al Mualim has asked that I assist you remind you how it is we hunt our prey I know how it works be that as it may I have no desire to disobey then be quick the assassin have many tools at their disposal yes yes we can eavesdrop we can pickpocket or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. So, I actually like this beginning. Like, this kind of tutorial is much better than the one in... Assassin's Creed 3 I remember like at the beginning we got jump on something like in a 3D world 
that's created by the computer. I actually didn't like that tutorial. Even though I know that every time, every time they make a game, they must make a tutorial for the beginners to get used to it. But it's just too boring. But in this time, the tutorial is actually based on uh, like a real. It's actually in the story, so this is why uh, this time I actually feel like Assassin's Creed One did well at this part. And by the way, I'm now doing the East Drop. And this is how you do it. You just get to the chair over here. F. And then listen. We eat. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Alright, so this is how you do Eve Drop or East Drop. I still don't know the um, the names for it because I'm not really good at remembering the name. Including Altair's master, I still don't even know his name. I can't even pronounce them correctly, so I'm not even gonna try to. And of course now you're going to try to find the guy and try to rob him. Like the beginning said, you're gonna do Eve Drop and then pickpock. And then do um Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. As you wish. Everyone's getting used to that word. Alright, so so to continue what I try to say is actually like uh, you have to use violence later on. So the tutorial that the guy actually told you what you have to do throughout this tutorial. That's great about the game. I actually like that way of tutorial. By the way, I actually found I didn't make Assassin's Creed videos these days. I have been PC so. Now I'm, uh, now I'm actually very free, so I'm going to catch up with my video progress, and of course, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going to not only make Assassin's Creed videos, I'm going to make other game videos, because I, I mostly play other games. Assassin's Creed I play for single player, I normally don't even play uh, multiplayer, so it's actually very awful for me to play it f for the second time or the third time. It's a challenge. It's really a challenge for you to, to know the story the and then just we stand play again. Upon a threshold between this world and a new one, a better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days attack was but the first, and more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf! See through his lies! So right here I'm following him to the corner and I got to beat him up when he's in the corner. But uh, it's really funny that every, this is like really close to the street. The public can see you fighting this guy. It's not like hitting him secretly so it's really funny. Take yourself from here before I call the guards. Uh, really? <laughs> All you need to do is just, just to spam your left click and that's it. 
You can use your play, so yeah. Enough! I yield! I yield! So lame, right? <laughs> Speak quickly then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. So it's really clear that this game has like nine missions. Basically, or just nine memory blocks. Because you gotta kill nine people and after those nine people, you don't have anybody to kill. And I find this really great to listen to the story again. Their conversations never get old. Because there's there's nothing that is right. Oh, Altair, oh God, this it seems guy my again. students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. By the way, you're Perhaps gonna see you him nine times. What you know. Yeah, I guarantee. Oh, but it's a good practice for fighting skill. You hold hold your right click to to block. Alright. That's how you do it. Perfect. Left click and then wait half second and then do left click again. The work of a master. And that, my students, is how we all should fight. Wait, he's the he was the teacher? No way. 
He was horrible. You must be busy. I of course. Understand. No shit. All right. Because I made many videos in this channel, so I don't really know like what kind of subscribers are actually subscribed to me, and I didn't know like what kind of games they want me to play. I guess I might just play some popular games. I'm not saying Assassin's Creed is not popular. Relax, chill. I mean, Assassin's Creed only lasts like two months. You finish the campaign, you're out. No more heat. You actually want to wait for the next. The next uh, Assassin's Creed series is going to be Black Flag, right? I, I heard it right. The uh, Assassin's Creed 4, this time they go for the, um, the ocean fight. So they really look forward to the Assassin's Creed 3 Navy fight. And of course, the, um, the storyline is kind of funny because normally they would go for getting closer to modern world. But this time they get older. like. They get to they're going backward they're not going forward because we came from the the holy war to the rome empire and then go to the american revolution so i i actually thought that they're gonna go for the world war one or world war two but actually they, they didn't do that they went for before before american revolution which is just like uh, Connor's uh, grandfather's story. I actually like the approach. And by the way, the the horse ride was really horrible of Assassin's Creed One. It actually showed the um, the game is kind of big. The map is really huge, but I don't like it. Why do we? Why can't we just have a portal and just just skip it? It's really annoying if you gotta ride your horse for a long time. I mean that 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 was a great way to show the. The um, size of the map, the size of the world of the game, but still, it's just too much work. And oh, okay, he's an assassin. There's no way that he can feel is crazy or something. Every assassin does the same thing, right? All right. By the way, uh, let's talk about the map again. The map, I actually what I like about this is that uh, even though the towers look having the same color but they they act a little bit different unlike in Assassin's Creed 2 I still remember like we got some yeah the tower the climbing quest is kind of changing but the but the looking like the way the pattern of the towers are actually not different they are actually were repetitive and by the way they should actually stop it because it's like it's been three series Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3 and then we keep having a tower how about one day we just go to a random high place and it just scouting? That's it. We don't really need to go to a uh, marketplace. It's really annoying. And here you start to have like hostile enemy. And of course you got some citizens. I don't even know how they travel by foot. Traveling with with that this horse is still taking forever. With foot? Oh my god. It's just a nightmare. By the way, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to escape a lot of places just to finish the the map. I mean, just to finish the campaign. Because, because if you really want to explore throughout the whole game, I guess you should just try to buy it in the in Target. I guess they sell it for ten bucks. I remember ten bucks for Assassin's Creed Two and Assassin's Creed One. So it's not a bad deal, and you can try the full version out. For me, I'm just trying to finish the story on YouTube, and that's it. And I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna jump right into uh, Assassin's Creed 2. And now you might realize what I'm talking about. The map is just huge. It's just huge, and you don't have a skip button. Even though you still have a lot of checkpoints, you have a lot of safe points. So that you, if you die, you can actually go back to the closest checkpoint. You don't have to do all this writing again. Still, too much, too much. I skipped it uh, like two watchtowers already. So, yeah, the map is not really clear for for the um, for next few games. Play gameplays. How about that? All right, for the next few gameplays.
still taking forever. Third tower that I'm gonna skip. Well, uh, there's one difference about the horse in Assassin's Creed 1 is that you can spring forever. In Assassin's Creed 2, the spring actually got time limit, the horse actually get tired later on. So yeah, that's the difference. Now here we got the portal. Pretty good. Now we can move on. Now we can skip. Great, thank you. Use throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. How do I use throwing knife? I, I got demoted. I can't use it. Great computer yeah, shit. Yeah. Hey, now you got a great look on him. Not bad. But uh, very soon you're gonna see the BS of this this game. And now you try to hold down because you don't have those like uh, fighting techniques. Try to hold down the left click and then you can kill him. Just need to do that like five times. Or four times, I mean. Alright. Now BS part. I wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. Here we go with the BS part. Everyone's gonna wear white. And you look exactly the same. Right. You got a blade on your clothes. You got a hoodie instead of that. I don't know what kind of cap is that. Sorry, I don't know. And of course, they actually think you're a prayer. Yeah. That's just great. So real. It's pretty funny, right? Like, especially people in this city, they always wear dark colored shirts. And only you are the one wearing white shirt with a hoodie. Assassins always wear like this. And somehow, the characters are like, Where's the assassin? No shit. The one that's wearing white with a hoodie, of course. He got a blade on his uh, belt anyway. This is really funny, right? Now you stop praying and then you just start your work. Okay, Hidden Blade ready? Now you fight. You can actually do a strike instead of heavy attacks. I guess this is actually better. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. I like how Altai already didn't say you're welcome. What he does is just chill in there, standing there listening, somebody fencing her. That's really funny, like he us he acts so tough. That's really funny. Or it's just like he he went lazy on it. The developer went really lazy on. Do you understand? Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears, and many arms. Yes, good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Oh. 
easy right you did the same thing in the tutorial and wow now I have the phone call I'm definitely not picking that up in here I got one thing that I really don't like is because the um, the game doesn't allow you to pickpock out other characters you can only do pickpock when you have the missions so that's kind of awful because you don't you don't really want to want to just pickpock for mission you want to pickpock for money you want to pickpock for some extra gunpowder like in revelation for some weapons not weapons drawing knives yes they count as weapon right all right i'm still correct and now i'm looking for the running mission you dare steal in my presence? <laughs> that will cost Great. you your life! I shouldn't help. Wait a second. I should. <laughs> I should help. Oh, wait, what? Your life's in now. I won't get away from he got corner. Hey, how'd you Thank do you. it? Thank you. I have to say. Find a way to repay this kindness, I swear. All right. Even though I didn't really need to, but oh well. Just feel like it. All right. Now let's get to the deliver mission. Deliver. Please don't do that again. If you want to ask like where's the train in, in this game or where's even GPS Well, uh, the train is take the shortcut, go to the ceiling and start running like an assassin <laughs> Safety and peace Altair I trust you're looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir I fear I've nothing to offer But uh, Bahir might, he shouldn't be too far from here uh, Anybody want to want to race with me? I'm gonna try to get a high score and you are going to try to break a beat, okay? Oh, never mind. Never mind, I'm not betting with you. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. Is there a reason for him to do that? You're gonna have a high score. Like a better score than me. Alright. So they've sent you, eh? 5861. Not bad. Choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. All right. <laughs> Even though I should go to the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you don't do these missions, you can't even start the main mission anyway. So yeah, it's better to actually actually just finish the sub-missions. Because you need to finish the sub-missions to finish the main mission. Really complicated, but you'll get it later on. By the way, you can have a bug in here. Or you can just glitch. Yeah, glitch is a better way to address it. Glitch on the door. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready.
It was like, your plan sounds legit, legit. It works. Alright. Now you can finish the final mission of the memory block 2. Memory block is really easy. It's still in the t tutorial part, right? I guess. Whatever. And yeah, I actually love this memory block. Really easy to finish. Well, oh, uh, seriously, I can't grab that. Really. Yes, come, come. Hey, watch it. Come, see what I Let me go. You something to say? Great. I'll have your hands. All right, finish this first. Yep, easy thing. Just keep spamming your left click and then that's it. came along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off with me. I owe you my Alright. Oh, the begging money? Ah, oh, the beggar. Yeah, mad annoying. The most annoying feature in Assassin's Creed. Oh, hey, what's up? I normally don't kill guards. Except they're doing bad things. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now I'm coming up here. Where's that kid? I want to have a good look on it. Right. I'm going down. Oh dear. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much and the destination it is a difficult route were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses i have done all i can it is not enough then perhaps you ask too much too much i gave you everything without me you would still be charming serpents for coin all i asked in return was you fill the orders i bring you and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! <laughs> you came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Oh really? I will get back to work. Revenge for him. Here we go. Be in peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me? When so many others do the same. You believe yourself different then. Oh, but I am. 
For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Nice glitch right there. All right, now you gotta run. This is this is what 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 people mean. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Oh, relax, lady. All right. You don't have my head for that. I'm getting away. Sure, sure. That's the only line they have in this game, right? I forgot. Really? I can't jump over there. Alright. You serious? You serious? Alright. That's a huge mistake. Everywhere they ride. That was easy. Alright, so I guess memory block is almost done. Come on, just go down, please. Fence. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yep, really close to the end. Alright guys, so that's Memory Block 2 and I hope you enjoy watching it and I see you next time.